In recent years, there has been considerable interest from cattle producers in using baled silage or baleage as a way to reduce feeding expenses. Cattleman to Cattleman reporter Brian Baxter has a closer look at the advantages of baling forage at higher moisture levels. For more than two decades, cattle and hay have gone hand in hand at Cooksey Farms and Show Cattle in Ohio. Jim Cooksey knows one of the keys to success for his operation is the quality of the hay he produces. It's very important with the artificial breeding we do and the, and, and the embryo work. Uh, nutrition in the hay is will up your numbers of, of eggs and consumption rate of AI and it has to be made right. Uh, if not, you're going to have to find something that another supplement or something that, that's more cost to you to make it right. Obviously, we're dealing with ruminants, so feed quality or hay quality is, is, is very important. And, and that's one thing uh, with cooperation from Mother Nature that farmer can control is the quality of the nutrients going into uh, the cow. Producers are always trying to find new ways to maximize the efficiency of forage harvesting and storage. That's why farmers and ranchers in many areas are making the switch to high moisture hay. We commonly refer to it as baleage or silage hay, and that's, that hay is usually uh, made somewhere between 40 and 60 percent dry matter. It can be in different forms, individually wrapped bales or inline or tube wrapped bales. Baling forage at higher moisture levels offers some distinct advantages and one of the biggest is the ability to better manage the weather factor. Anyone in the hay business knows rained on hay and delayed cuttings can have a negative impact on profit and forage quality. Baleage takes a lot of the weather worries off the shoulders of hay producers. The best thing about the, the wet wrap is you don't need a four or five day window to get it done. You can, you can get it done in two, two days, two and a half at the most, which means a lot with, with the weather you're dealing with. And it seems like it only rains when we're trying to make hay. So that window of opportunity to make the best quality of hay uh, is oftentimes short. Um, high moisture hay it clearly uh, creates an advantage when you have that as an option uh, because you can, you can work with the weather a lot better uh, than if you're looking for a, a truly dry hay product. Helping to beat the weather is not the only advantage of silage bales. Baleage also lets growers harvest hay when its nutrient content is highest due to a more timely harvest. In addition, baleage has better palatability than other feeds because of its soft texture. The end result is less waste in the feeders, keeping beef producers and their cows happy. It's very palatable if it's made right and, and, and fermented properly. Uh, there's, there's minimal, if any, wastage uh, when it's fed. Uh, just from personal experience, uh, cows like it. It tastes good. They'll clean it up. So that's a, that's a big advantage in terms of eliminating waste to help reduce costs. They don't have to be hungry to eat it. They're, if it's made right, they eat it all. A baleage system requires much the same equipment as a conventional hay system with some additions. Due to the increased moisture levels needed to effectively store baleage, existing round balers may not be appropriate. New Holland offers round balers that are built to withstand the rigors of harvesting high moisture forage. With high moisture hay, it's really a matter of the uh, baler itself um, and having a baler that has the right uh, components and equipment to handle that tougher environment and high moisture hay. New Holland has a long history in making balers that are silage ready. And in our latest generation of balers, uh, the Roll Belt 450 and 460, uh, we have models that are come out of the factory equipped, uh, ready to go to the field and make high moisture or silage bales. New Holland has completely redesigned the new Roll Belt series of round baler. Um, in both the 4x5 and 4x6 bale size categories, or our models, the Roll Belt 450 and 460, uh, you have the opportunity to get uh, silage ready balers in a number of configurations. Uh, you can get a, uh, a silage special baler that would be a 1.8 meter pickup in an active sweep configuration, uh, which will give you a, a rotor type feeder that will feed over and into the bale chamber. Uh, you can also get a brand new model, which is a super feed. It's actually the unit that's behind me, uh, which will have a uh, rotor that will, the crop will feed under the rotor and up into the bale chamber to allow high capacity feeding and high moisture crops. So we've, we've designed a baler that allows our customers to be uh, more efficient and allow cattlemen to, to stay in the field where they belong and get the crop uh, baled before the rain comes or whatever they're challenged with. 
There are some important steps producers need to take to reduce the possibility that high moisture bales will spoil. First, keep a close eye on bale density. In general, the denser the bale, the lower the spoilage. Also, bales should be wrapped as soon as possible after baling for maximum preservation. The quality of the silage decreases as the length of time between baling and wrapping increases. You can decide to either put them in a tube wrap uh, or wrap them individually, uh, but you need to basically prohibit oxygen from being able to access that bale and, and letting that bale rot. Uh, you need to cover it so that it can ensile and uh, retain the, the nutrition and get the end product you're looking for. Everything we do with hay production, we're losing forage. From the time you cut it to the time it's fed to the cow, we do too much not to preserve amount and quality of the feed and a wrapper's a valuable component in the process. New Holland is a valuable resource for producers when it comes to high moisture baling. The company helps its customers be as productive as possible when dealing with baleage. Somebody that wants to get into high moisture baling, we can certainly walk them through the process and make sure that they've got the right equipment um, to do that and to be effective at it. Um, we certainly uh, encourage going out on, on farm visits and ranch visits where we can go out and work with the customers, understand the type of crop that they have um, and what their goals and objectives and, and are so that we can, we can provide them with the most appropriate piece of equipment. New Holland has a, a long tradition in the uh, silage special baling market and with this core design of, of having high bale density and delivering a package that allows less bales in the field, less moves uh, to save the operator money and time. For many beef producers, the use of baleage systems to harvest and store forage may be a worthwhile investment. While making round bale silage may not be ideal for every operation, at Cooksey Farms they believe they've found the long-term answer to their feed challenges. It's something that needs to needs to keep doing, and if you know if it's not broke, don't fix it. It's working good for us, and and it's just something that I'm going to continue to carry on here. Reporting from Circleville, Ohio, I'm Brian Baxter for NCBA's Cattlemen to Cattlemen.